All right, so a couple of you have asked for a mobile version of the how to buy a stock on TD Ameritrade video that I made a couple months ago. So that's what we're going to do today. This is good if you're on the go or maybe if you're at work and you don't necessarily have the time to watch stocks or you don't necessarily have the environment to be pulling up your portfolio on a computer. So I'll show you from the mobile app how you can get money into your account, how to buy and sell a stock, how to set alerts so that you're notified when the stocks hit a certain price, as well as how to enroll in the drip dividend reinvestment plan. And I'll also show you how when you place an order, if the stock price does change and you want to change your order, how you can actually go in and edit the order instead of having to cancel it and create a new one. So the first thing you'll want to do is obviously to download the TD Ameritrade app. You can also use the Thinkorswim app if you want a more visual platform, but the TD Ameritrade app is going to be a little bit simpler to use, and that is what we're going to be using in this video today. So once you have that downloaded, go ahead and open up the app and log in, and we will get started with putting money into our account. So when you open it, you'll see this main dashboard where it shows your accounts, your balances, your positions, etc. So we're going to click on this trade button at the bottom, and then we have the option to transfer funds or deposit a check. So we're going to click on transfer funds. And this is where you will be able to connect your bank account. But if you do want to deposit a check, you can go back and click that and do it directly from your phone. So let's go ahead and get some money in here. Transfer funds, you will click the new transfer button. And then I'm just doing a regular bank transfer, an ACH transfer. So you'll have the option to choose which bank you're taking the money out of, which TD Ameritrade account you're putting the money into, and then we can go ahead and enter the amount. So for this example, I'm just going to do $100 like I usually do. And then you'll see the option to change the frequency. So you can schedule it f to take money out of your account every week, every fourth Friday, whatever you want, you can schedule it there. If you choose to schedule the deposits out of your bank account, you can actually choose the day that that occurs on. So if you want it to happen every month on the 15th, you can do that. And then once we're done, we're going to hit review transfer, and this will pull up a confirmation page where we can just review which accounts it's coming into, going out of, and if you need to change it, obviously you can click the back button but we're going to go ahead and continue and you'll see that we have this transfer request submitted at the top. So about five minutes later, the money has hit our account and so we can go ahead and go in and buy a stock. So you can either select a position that you already have and click the add to position button, but I'm going to show how to search for a stock. So I'm gonna press cancel and then at the top, we're going to click the little magnifying glass and search for the stock that we want to buy. So I'm going to do Delta Airlines, and once we search, we can see the actual stocks page, we can review all of the information, if it pays dividends, what it's trading at currently, what it closed at the previous day, all that good stuff is on this page. So I already know that I want to buy this, so I'm going to click the trade button that's at the top right of the screen, and then from here, you can see how many shares of the stock that you already have. And then I'm going to press the green buy button. And this will pull up our little trading window where we can select what we're doing. So buying or selling, we can select our order type, how much we want, and the price that we would like to try to get it at. You can also see at the bottom that you can view how much money you have to work with. So that'll be under your cash available. And that is the cash balance that's in your account. So I'm going to go ahead and change the price to 32.45 and we'll try to get it at that. And then under action, um, I'm going to leave it on buy, but you can see that you have the different options to select buy, sell, buy to cover, sell short. And then for the order type for this one, I'm going to leave it on limit. If you aren't sure what order type you should be using, I do have another video that reviews different order types, so I would recommend going and watching that. And then we want to select how much of the stock we actually want. So if you click these little arrows, you can change the price or the quantity that way, but it will increase it by a certain amount for like the quantity, it'll go up by 100 every time. And since we are not spending that much for this example, we're just going to select the number and type it in. So I'm going to type in three 
and then we should be good to go ahead and click this review order button. And again, it's going to take you to a little confirmation screen where you can review all of the information that you just entered. And if you want to see a little bit more, click on this position quantities and you can see how much you currently have of the stock and how much you will have after your trade goes through. So we're going to go ahead and click place order at the bottom. And now we see that little bar at the top says trade committed by three shares at limit price of 32.45 of Delta Airlines and it was submitted. Great. So now you kind of just wait for it to hit that price. But while we're waiting for that, I will show you how you can enroll in the dividend reinvestment plan from the mobile app. I also showed this in the desktop version. You can do it either place. But what you're going to do is from the accounts page, which is that center button at the bottom, you're going to click reinvest dividends and this will take you directly to the drip enrollment page. So mine are already enrolled in drip, but what you would want to do is click this edit your enrollment button and go ahead and select either all of your stocks to be reinvested or you can select just specific ones that you would like to reinvest. And what that means is that, for example, if you earn a dividend from Coca-Cola, that dividend will then be reinvested automatically back into Coca-Cola. And you don't have to do this, it's just something that a lot of people do like having the option to do. And just to check, if you scroll down, you'll see under this dividends reinvested column, there'll be little little check marks next to all of the stocks or ETFs that you have enrolled in the DRIP program. So majority of people are probably going to be trying to buy stocks during their normal work day because that's when the market's open, but chances are you don't have time to sit there and actually watch the prices change. So what you can actually do is set alerts so that you are notified whenever the stock price hits whatever amount that you set. So to do that, what we're going to do is click on one of our positions and then we're going to click on this create alert button near the bottom and then from here you have a bunch of different options for how you'd like your alert to be set so for price type you can set it based on the last closing price the last price that it was actually at the last ask or bid or it's pretty cool you can do like a percent change since the previous close which right now that's that's a pretty cool alert to set since i'm just doing this as an example it doesn't really matter so i'm just going to leave the price type on last and leave that selected and then under price, we can go ahead and set the price that we want the alert to go off at. So I'm going to set it at 33. And then under condition, we can set when the alert will go off. So above a certain price, at or above a certain price, you can do below, below or at a certain price. So you have a lot of different options there. Um, and then actually I'm going to change this to 3280 and we'll see if this alert actually goes off or not. Another important thing is that to actually get the alerts, you need to go into your phone settings and make sure that you are allowing alerts from the TD Ameritrade app or um, allowing notifications rather. And that will allow you to actually like get the notifications, otherwise they may not come through. So that's very important. And this stock price is not moving fast enough for my example. So what we're going to do is go back and I'll show you how to edit the order without having to make a new order or cancel an order. So we're going to select the trade button again at the bottom. We'll click orders at the top and then we can go ahead and select our current open order that we have for Delta Airlines. Once we have the page open for the current order that we had just placed a few minutes ago, we're going to click the edit order button. And from here, you can go back in. It's the same exact screen and we can change whatever we want to change about the order. So in this case, I'm just going to change the price that we're trying to get it at. Um, so we could tr change this to 32.85, but for this, I want to try to go ahead and just get this stock. So I'm going to change it to $33. And then once you're done, you just hit done. You hit review order again. And after you do that, you should be good to go. It will take you back to that same confirmation page Page and let you know what price you're trying to get it at, your estimated total. And once you do that, you can go ahead and hit place order and you'll see at the top that it says trade committed. And I changed the stock price to 33 just so that I could finish this video. But now if we go back to our main dashboard, we can see that our position has been filled because under our Delta Airlines stock, it now says seven shares instead of four. So if we click on that, we can confirm that. It will say your account name and then it will say how many shares of that stock that you have. 
If you have more positions in your portfolio or it's been a while since you looked, you may not remember how much you had though. So to double check that our order went through, what we're going to do is click on the trade button at the bottom again, click on orders, and now on the orders page, you'll see that that order is gone. But what we're going to do is under status, instead of open orders, we're going to select filled orders. So once we do that, we can see that yes, that Delta Airlines order that just went through at $33 is there. If you click on it, you can look at a more detailed view of it and see um, what price it was actually filled at and things like that. So that is just a very quick walkthrough of the TD Ameritrade mobile app. And again, if you're confused confused on order types, I do have another video that goes over those and that could be helpful if you're waiting for a certain stock price and you don't necessarily want to be watching it all the time while you're at work. If there are any other platforms, mobile or desktop, that you want me to walk through, be sure that you leave a comment down below. Remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next time.